doesn't look too bad. Today, not messing around, no BS. We're just gonna try and get after some froggy, froggy fish. <laughs> there we go. Choked it. I'll take him. I will take him. Sweet. <laughs> there he goes. Sweet. Finally on the board. Feels good to get a frogfish out of this place. I haven't fished this place in quite some time, so. It's a little different than the last time I fished it. Last time this all was covered in pads. Now it's more open and kind of more of this. Um, gosh, I wish I knew the technical name for this. It's like floating like muck, basically. But it feels good to finally get on the board with one fish. There he is. Oh. Fish. Yep, fish. <laughs> I cracked him. Oh, this little dude, I'm so sorry because I just smacked you so hard. <laughs> I smacked this poor little fish so hard. <laughs> kind of explain like kind of what I'm doing. I'm frog fishing obviously, but I'm doing a couple different techniques here because there's some different things. Oh, I spooked a fish. But there's a couple different things that I'm fishing. So I'm fishing like this matted um, uh, floating like mats basically. I'm fishing those and what I'm doing during those is like just very erratically bringing it through. Then when I get into the open water, when I get to open out here, I'm just doing a, just a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. And usually when I'm in open water, it's a little different bite. They suck it in more. So you really have to wait and feel until you feel their weight on the end of your rod and then set hook. Whereas this, you can actually see your, they'll jump out at it and kind of eat your frog pretty violently. So just vary your retrieves depending on what you're fishing. If you're fishing more floated, you can work it a little bit faster. Your goal, your objective, I don't know if you can see this, your goal is to leave streaks in that like that. That helps you, helps you kind of show you where you've already been and what you've already worked. And then always don't be afraid to go back and work it twice. And then all I'm using for a rod is I have a 7.4, this is a 7.4 extra heavy Tatula XT, six scale Krius seven to one. Like I said, I would like to go up higher. And then I got a Spro bronze eye frog with I believe it's 40 or 55 pound braid. So pretty strong stuff. You're gonna need it when you're fishing this stuff, especially making longer casts. You're gonna have to pick up line and set hook just faster than you would be able to um, with anything else. You definitely don't wanna use fluorocarbon or anything with stretch in it when you're fishing these mats. The stronger the better, the longer the better, the stiffer the rod, the faster the tip, the better. Just keep that in mind. I absolutely love this time of year where I can get out and throw a frog consistently and catch fish consistently. It's probably my favorite time to fish. I always thought spring and fall would be my favorite time to fish, but actually summer is my favorite time to fish because I can fish a frog just 24-7. Um, you find some pads, you find these mats like this, you can literally fish a frog all day long and put nothing and throw nothing else, and that's what I absolutely love about summer and especially uh kind of that late spring kind of bite you know like this this is all good oxygen for fish 
perfect for them to come in here and kind of escape from the sun and kind of survive. So they're not just in here for fun and to hang out. They're like in here to survive because of all the oxygen that these lily pads, um, all these vegetation creates. You guys can hear me during all this because if I'm just rambling on, like I have some pretty good talking segments right now. And if I'm just rambling on, you can hear me through all the wind, I'm gonna be mad, ooh. There we go. Oh, I cracked that fish too. Oh, my handle came off. There goes my fish. Oh no. Oh, I found it. I found it. Dope. Like, honestly, I do seriously love six kill to death. And I know it's probably not their fault. This is an older reel. I have put it through its paces. This has been my frogging reel for the last two years. But the frog bite is on right now, so I don't even care. Like, as long as I stick a fish like that every time. There he is. Real don't give out on me. No, you gave out on me. Hand line them in. Hand line them in. Oh, what a great fish. Not a great size fish, but a good last bite to end my night. Ah. Grow big, young one, grow big. This reel, I think it's done. In the yard.